Hello everyone, you're watching Newegg TV. I'm Jennifer, and today I'm doing a Let's Play on Final Fantasy XIV. Now this game, when it first came out, got a, well, an F might be generous. Uh, people were outraged, they didn't wanted their money back, they were canceling their Square Enix accounts, but Square Enix, uh, they answered back to the people who did try it the first round and gave them some freebies. And I wasn't one of those people, but I have gotten really good feedback on the game, so I started playing it myself about a month ago. And now I'm far enough in that I feel like I can share the gist of the game with you and kind of give you my personal perspective on it. This is my first MMO, um, my first MMO RPG, make it that. And I've been having a lot of fun. So let's take a look at the game, and I can talk you through some of the different uh, character things and stuff that's going on. So this is me, sitting on a wall. This is my little character. She is a whole 34 inches tall. Looks kind of like me. I recently made her eyes a little bit more shiny and her ears a little bit smaller uh, as part of my subscription renewal that I did. So if I hit C, it'll bring up my character list and it'll tell you that I am an arcanist and that I have some, you know, things equipped as you would expect. Anyway, I'm a level 23 Arcanist at this point, which for most of you probably wouldn't be that impressive, you know, given a month of gameplay, but hey, I'm trying here, really. I'm working on it. It's hard. Anyway, all right, so my little 34 inch tall elf-like character has some interesting abilities but I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the gameplay and then show you a few of the different jobs. So in, in Final Fantasy XIV, you have a couple of different things that you need to do. You need to meet your main story objectives, which if you're familiar with MMOs, this is kind of probably old hat to you. You can skip ahead. So we've got your main story objectives. Uh, that helps you level up, learn your trade, get some cool gear, get some monies all that happiness. But as you go along, you need to adopt other jobs or trade crafts, field crafts, uh, gathering, that kind of thing. So I have one of every job right now, and my main battle craft is Arcanist. So I am primarily a healer, which is a position I'm very comfortable with since I'm not very quick in battle. It allows me to heal the other members of my party so that I can participate in big fates or fights or dungeons or whatever's going on. So right now I am in my home world of Limza Luminisa. The names, the names in this game. I'm there and there's uh, these crystals. Now these crystals are the remnants of the Aetherite and the Aetherite allows us to travel around but it was broken apart as part of this big war and an epic saga of Final Fantasy proportions. So this is one of the worlds and I'll bring you to all of the others as we go along. Now right now I have a book with me that is not as good as uh, a book I just recently acquired so I'm going to switch that out and this will give you an idea of the uh, character UI. So here's my little character. Along each side I have things I can highlight for my head. Right now I don't have my mask on. There it is. It's terrifying. So I keep that hidden. Anyway, so I have my head, body, hands, waist, legs, feet, and this allows me to equip different uh, jewelry, clothes, things like that that give me different health points, magic points, and travel points as I go along. So my main hand, I have my book. And it's kind of weird. As soon as you click on it, it automatically drags with your cursor, but you can't reselect something that way. So what you have to do is you have to click on your weapon and then immediately just go put it back and then go over to your list. Now I've got this new uh, you pick a tricks. Pick a tricks. I got nothing. So I drag that over to the weapons area and now that has been enabled so my magic points have gone up because it's a better book than I had before. Um, and if I want to save this as a gear set, I go up to the gear set list in the leftish middle there, and I've got all my different gear sets, so I'm going to update my Arcanist set by clicking Reassign Gear, and now that will be saved. This is important 
because every time you change jobs, it's much easier to just go to your gear set list, select whatever you're going to be, and click equip set rather than redressing your whole character. Again, if you've played other MMOs, I'm sure there are similar uh, UIs that help you with that. Alrighty, so what have I got? I need to speak with Thancred. Thancred. You'll quickly realize in this game that the names of people are basically like they smashed someone's face onto a keyboard and was like, that's it. Let's go. One of them is Ferdwub. You have to talk to her a few times. F-R-Y-D-W-Y-R, what? Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so Thancred, where is Thancred? If I click on my little quest that I've got going on over here, it will bring up the name of the quest, what my rewards will be, description, and the objectives. More important than that, over in the left side of the panel, you will see where you need to go to achieve that. Uh, so I click on map, and it says I need to go to Thanalan. That's pretty vague. There's about six or seven different places in Thanalan, so I need to go to Eastern Thanalan, and more specifically in the Sandgate Thanalan. Um, the map in this game is not great, I'm not going to lie. It's very, very uh, nondescript. It doesn't outline level changes, meaning like, so ramps or walls or levels in a castle. It doesn't really illustrate that very well. It makes it very challenging to get around. Hmm. Just something you have to deal with. I'm not very good at it, so there's that. Anyway. Sandgate. Now, I don't want to have to uh, run all the way around the whole planet to get to Sandgate. I want to get there kind of quickly. And then there's a few ways that once you level up, you'll learn these things as you go uh, to get around. So I can teleport. Down here on the right, we have a, a few little button menus. I've got character, duty, logs, travel, party, social, and system. So under logs, oh, I'm sorry, travel, I have map, teleport, and return. Now return will send you to any aetherite crystal that you have set as your home port. Right now I have lim Limsa, Lomanisa, Limsa, Lomanisa. I could just call it the LL. It's all, you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, but I could teleport to Thanalin and I could even teleport to Eastern Thanalan, but that's gonna cost me 460 gil. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you have to do it eight, nine, 10 times uh, over a few hours of gameplay to get around on our various quests, it adds up very, very quickly. And I learned that, which is why I don't have a lot of gil. I have like 13,715, isn't much, but it's because I don't like running around all the time. Other options, we have the ferry and the airship, both of which are quests that you can obtain and not all ferries will take you everywhere you want to go. So while I'm in the Limsa Lomanisa, I can use what's called the Aethernet to get around to all the various guilds or wherever there are smaller shards of the crystal. So I need to go to get on the airship to the aft castle. So there it goes. It's going to take me to the Limsa Upper Decks, which is where the airship uh, is. Yes, and it's not that way. It's this way. The Drowning Winch. Drowning Winch, you're going to spend some quality time here in your early, early quest. So I need to talk to this gal. Senreal. Skane. We'll call her Sarah. So I need to go to the airship landing. Yes. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to get on an airship. I think you get the airship at around level 15-ish or so. Um, and it's very challenging sometimes to get through those types of quests because I feel like there are way too many steps. I think there were initially to get on the airship where there was like 10 steps to doing it. it would, it's preposterous. All right, so Thanalin is in the other world, which is called Ulda. Ulda is kind of a desert area. I like it. I can purchase a trip to Ulda on the airship for 120 gil, which is 
significantly less expensive than the teleporting, but teleporting gets you almost exactly to where you want to go, whereas the airship just takes you to another portion of the world. So one of the things about being 34 inches tall in this game is you frequently don't know where you're going to end up, and sometimes you end up like stuck in other people, particularly like between them. It's weird. All right, where is my guy? Like I said, I get lost here a lot. I get off the airship and I immediately forget which world I'm in. This world I have to go down some steps into Nanahomi, the faithful lift attendant, and I need to go to the Ruby Road Exchange. The Ruby Road Exchange is like a few of the other areas. Every world has one. It's basically a shopping district where you can buy things from merchants. So that can be clothes or um, battlecraft gear or whatever. Every single one of them has this kind of a thing, which is a market board. I call it like the Craigslist of the game or, you know, more commonly like World of Warcraft terms is the auction house. Uh, so you can buy things there. You can go to some of these people and they will repair your gear, that type of thing. All right, so clicking on the map, we're gonna shorten this little trip up a little bit. Okay, but only if I get going the right way, which I'm not good at, as you will notice. <laughs> All right, so here's a piece of the Ethernet shard and I can now use this to travel for free to any of the other areas I need to go. So where was that quest again? That was in ba, 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 Eastern Thanalan. And what are some of the adjoining areas? Adjoining area, Southern Thanalan, no. How about Central Thanalan? All right, well, I think if I go to the Goldsmiths Guild. Actually, you know what? The Thermaturges Guild. If I go to that guild, I'll end up pretty close to the gate. Once I'm through the gate, then I'll teleport because by then it will be a lot less than 400 or what have you gill to um, get around. And it's nighttime. I feel like it's nighttime a lot in this game. Uh, gameplay is, I think, for every one minute of gameplay is 20 minutes of real time. Uh, so, this is important because it allows you to calculate some things. Some quests will be based on what time of day that you accomplish them at. Also, you know, when it's going to be light, when it's going to be dark. Things are harder to do in the dark, particularly in Old Daw. But I feel like sunsets come early and sunrises come kind of late in this land where it's almost night all the time. At least it's not storming here. Being that it's in Old Daw, you get this beautiful nighttime sky, beautiful star belt across the top. A lot of the other lands, it rains a lot and it's difficult to get around at night because of that. Alrighty, so we need to get to Eastern Thanalan. And I think it'll be a lot cheaper from here. Let's see, travel teleport. Oh yes, that price has gone way down to 222 gil. So total cost of the trip so far by running around a lot and taking the airship is 342. You're still 140 less than it was going to be or 120 less than it was going to be. So I guess that saves me a little bit of gil. Um, I hate having to be like interested in the economics of this whole thing. Mm. Hmm. All right, so I need to go this way, south, which using the map to get around is kind of challenging because you're stuck in the town and you have to look at the town and it's nighttime and I can't really see. Uh, anyway, also there's no indication on the map whatsoever of, you know, ramps and staircases and walls. So you just kind of run around stuck in basically a bowl until you can figure out how to get out. Uh, I should mention the hardware that I'm using today. I am working from the MSI GT70 Dragon gaming laptop, which I installed this game on so that I could play it on my lunches at work. 
um, about a couple weeks ago. And I enjoy the gaming experience on this laptop. Much like other really large gaming laptops, I don't feel like, especially in this type of a game, as long as I don't run it on super, super high settings all the time, I'm not really losing anything. And, you know, this kind of a game, even on high settings, um, you know, it's, it's not working the graphics card too terribly. So, uh, I feel like I still get a really, really decent gaming experience. I'm uh, using the Myonix Neo 7000 mouse, which Paul did videos on recently. They were good enough to let us uh, keep them for in-studio use, which I'm very appreciative. All right, so I have found Thancred. We'll call her Wendy. Found Wendy. Wendy's going to, you know, give me some information about tracking some baddies. And basically, a lot of the quests are like this when you're alone. You're running around, trying to talk to people, trying to find people, trying to solve little situations. And as you solve them, you need to fight other people you know, mean things, like that one that just saw me. All right. Hey, stop it. I need time to get my carby out. All right, I'm only running away from this guy for a moment because I want to show you my pet. The Arcanist in Final Fantasy XIV is the pet class, and I love my pet. I have two of them. I have a gold or topaz carby and an emerald carby, or um, carbuncle. It's kind of this weird three-tail cat dog thing. And the topaz carby is a bit of a jerk and will just go pick fights with anybody you run across. So you have to mind him or make him mind you somehow. I joke that he's my dog in real life if I had a dog. Just doesn't listen, doesn't behave, won't sit still for pictures. All right, so I have to search this encampment where things are now beating me up. Uh, you, you look good to me. So Carby's fighting that, so I'm gonna fight this guy. The nice thing about, about this whole business is that Carby will tank for you. So if you're alone, you still have a chance of beating bad guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, I'm 34 inches tall and I can't see anymore. So Carby will pick on them, and I will pick on them, and they usually will get too angry and distracted by him to really care much about what I'm doing, which is beneficial. As long as they're beating up my Carby instead of me, I'm good. Now I do have to heal my Carby from time to time, so I have to pay attention to how badly he's getting hurt. All right, there you go, one of you's dead. Carbuncle, I'll give you some. Healings. All right, let's go, little buddy. Let's see. Hmm. All right, another jerk. Kirby. Another job from a Kirby. Sick. I won't get out of the way. And I can. Primarily, my casting just kind of gives uh, baddies diseases which reduces their ability to attack effectively. And then I can hit them with a couple of my just, you know, smack in the head castings while Carby continues to tank. Dang it. I'm trying to find what I need to be doing in here. Uh-huh. I do get worn out uh, with the constant fighting because uh, fighting is not really my type of video game, I'm more of like a puzzle solver type of video game player. So this type of thing I get worn out with, but that is what the other classes are for. So the gathering and trade craft classes kind of give you a reprieve. Ow. I'm under attack by who? Quit it, I don't like you. I like it when you guys follow me around. It's annoying. <sighs> Go get my Carby. Go. Enjoy that. It's 
So the spell I'm casting right now is called Miasma. Basically, it just makes them ill. Oops, Kirby needs some, some loving. And I can do my energy drain and kind of suck them down to nothing. There we go. All right, Kirby, heal up. Okay, let's see what do we got here. We have a queer leaflet. All right. So now I have to go back to, uh, what did I say her name was, Wendy? Got to go back to Wendy, run through all these guys. I'm going to run extra fast because I don't feel like fighting them for the rest of eternity. They will chase me, but hopefully they'll get distracted by my carby and won't chase me too far. All right, so now it says I've joined a fate. Fates are ways to build up points and um, battle experience. They're very useful, but I'm not gonna fight that one right now because I want to finish this quest. All right, what do you fancy? Here is your leaflet. Hmm. Okay, great. And now I'm getting attacked again. Now I have to go back to Sister Orson. Call her Marjorie. Uh, Sister Marjorie is in another area of camp. And my Carby died because I left it to get attacked which is kind of nice. So I'm going to bring up the emerald carbine, or carbuncle, sorry. All right, emerald carby. Emerald carby actually fights better than topaz carby, um, but won't pick fights quite as often, I feel. All right, so where do I need to go for you? I need to go to, I think it's Camp Drybone. Yes, Camp Drybone, and I am Almost there, so we're gonna run across the land here. Now you'll notice some of the baddies here have little arrows above them. So the green or ish blue down arrows mean that it won't in, um, initiate an attack with you and also that its level is going down. So if you come back in a little bit, it will be lower than a level 15 or something like that. And if you see ones with like a red orange, kind of like a I don't know, like a chemical warning sign over its head. That means that it will attack you. It will also connect to all the other baddies around you and uh, fight you without you initiating, which isn't my fave. All right, so I've run down here. Looks like I need to go in here and I can't get anywhere now. See, this is one of the moments I'm talking about with this map. So I'm inside this building, and it looked like I was going to be right where I needed to be. But you can't see this building on the map. I don't even know that it's there. It's incredibly frustrating. But now I'm in this building, and it appears I am underneath the person I need to talk to. So I need to get out of this building. But as there's no indication of how I even got in this building, I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, there's a sick person. Great, don't care. Well, I care about sick people, just not that one. Okay, I'm not crazy, right? Like, this person's just not here. I'm looking at the map. They're not here. They're just not. Uh, I don't know. Let's go do something else for a while. Teach you about my other jobs. All right, so I'm gonna teleport to somewhere more fun. I'm going to go to the Steps of Ulda. Now my favorite thing to do in this game is my crafting job, which is alchemy. And alchemy allows me to make different potions or cures or tools necessary for casters um, in order for them to be able to heal other people. So I'm gonna go over to the Alchemist Guild and show you what that's like because I need to calm down. I need to calm down after that horrible run at the map, which is useless. 
I'm sure it's me. I mean, it might be me. I might be doing something wrong here. All right, so I'm gonna get up my character again. And I'm going to change into my alchemy clothes. Equipping set. Oh dear. Look at this poor little fashion victim. Man. Uh, yeah. So, you learn pretty quickly that these outfits aren't great. I actually dyed this one. It used to be much worse. Let me change my pose. Can you can see what I mean. What are you smiling about? So the, green, the boots used to be green and the blue part of the tunic was peach until I got my dying quest. Alka me. Alka you. Alka everybody in the room. Let's change clothes. I've got some other gear in my set here that is actually better for alchemy than this. So I'm gonna put this over here. Stand there in my underwear for a second. And I think this is it. This is the, yes, vest of crafting. I will put this on and that will help my crafting abilities. However, again, I look like a fashion victim. Not much to do for this, except for go buy dye and go through the whole process of dyeing in order to, um, you know, look better. In my offhand, I have a new thing. So I'm going to save my gear set now to this. Reassign gear. Okay. Now, alchemy. It's fun. So I have my log which I can bring up here. And these are all of the things in my recipe kit that I can make or I've learned to make so far. And uh, I've got a few things that I'm still working on. So I need to learn how to make an ash wand is my next thing. So over here under ash wand, it tells me what ingredients I need. And I seem to have everything I need to make this. So I'm gonna click synthesize and get about my work. Look at that happy camper. Look at that happy little alchemist. Now I can make things uh, higher quality if I want to. Steady my hand, get better quality again. You want to make high quality items because they can sell for quite a bit more. And basic synthesis. A couple more I should be done. All right, I synthesized an ash wand. Proof of completion has been added and I got 1,530 uh, experience points from that, which is excellent. All right, the next thing I need to make, hard leather grimoire. I need an elm log, which I have none of. My other gathering job is botany. And as a botanist, I go around and I uh, chop wood. Botany, incidentally, is the worst gathering job you can have because it's just darn difficult to find anything. And as you saw before, the map isn't exactly awesome for it. So let's pull up my character. Now, a lot of these items that I need are available for purchase and people who make them in other trade crafts or gathering crafts will sell them to you on the Craigslist or market board or whatever. Um, at quite a markup. So I find it's better if I just do it myself. Oh dear, not one of my for more flattering outfits, I really must say. Yeah, gorgeous honey, you're gorgeous. Anyway, so now I can go chop some wood, but I think what I'm going to do now is go meet up with Rachel who I have talked into joining the game. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> so let me return. Hey, Rach, give me just a sec. I'm gonna return to my home port, which I think is where you're at. Oh my goodness. Here's Rachel. <laughs> Snarl Drogo. <laughs> you're so tall. Uh. <laughs> God. But check out my my awesome dance moves. Let me take a Wha selfie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you come up to my knees. Uh, a little past that. 
but not much. <laughs> your head, your head is tilted all the way backward, like you're in the first row in a movie theater. So something I I love about this game is that you can take pictures. I guess probably a lot of games allow you to do this, but I love to be able to. Oh, <laughs> hang on, let me walk forward a little bit. No, sit down. Go ahead. Okay. I'm really good at manipulating the camera. Actually, I've gotten really good at this. I've taken some pretty adorable pictures in this game. So here's <laughs> me and Snarl Drogo. <laughs> That's my girly pose. Okay, I have other poses. What po where are the poses? So if you do backslash change pose, all one word. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you can kneel. Yeah, there's a kneeling thing. So yeah. <laughs> Me. Me and Rachel. What, An epic what? adventure of epic proportions. I could stand between your legs. So funny. Oh there my go. gosh. All right, so Rachel has just started the game. I think she's, well, you're what, a level six? Yeah. And this is one of the other races you can be in this game. So she, um, she's a marauder is the first job that she selected, which is typically a uh, battle class or tanking class. What do you do? Are you blowing me a kid? Yeah. <laughs> that is the most awkward thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Continue. It's okay. Oh, tough guy. <laughs> That's funny. I can uh, I can give you a little curtsy here. Here we go. Aww. I'm, I'm very girly. Cute. All right. So, what were you off to trying to kill? I don't. I'm. I need to finish. Okay. Because so I'm a marauder, right? So that means I'm more warrior type. I figure going with the, the call Drogo thing. Like in most yeah. MMOs, all my characters are named after. Like all, in Guild Wars Two, all my characters have the last name of Lannister. So uh -huh. I'm in keeping with the uh, the, the Game okay. of Thrones. Yeah, but real quick, look behind you. This is what I love about what? this type of thing because that is a person there with a pumpkin on their head in a Holy. bathing suit. I need to whistle at them. Under, um, if you go down to the little buttons on the right, there's the social button. Yeah. If you click on that, you have emotes. Yeah. And you could spend really an hour emoting going through all of them, but uh, basically it, the, the keys are like forward slash whatever it is, so I can, I can forward slash... Um, I can forward slash. Okay. Pray. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That man is a pumpkin head. <laughs> and they're dancing. I love this. I really do. I could spend all day just looking at, okay, thumbs up. I'm thumbs upping them. I'm taking a picture. And I am they're going to. They're going to invite you to join a party. Speaking of. I, I invited you to join my party, and I'm able to see your stats up in the top left corner of the oh, screen yeah. now. Pumpkinhead. Where do I get that hat? It's just amazing. And then this poor fashion victim behind you. She hasn't gotten her dying quest yet. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've okay. been there. I, I sympathize. A few anyway, of my outfits are still pretty breathtakingly Yeah, bad. this this little one though is cute. The one you have on. So yeah. I'm a marauder, so I, I'm assuming. So you said like tank or something like that. Yeah, I'm usually a, that's a tank. Job, okay, typically. yeah, I'm fine so with that. So you're leveling up. What is the next thing on your list to do? Well, I was gonna try to finish my level one quest of Way of the Mar. So my question is, you know, I've played other MMOs before, and sometimes for like your main, I guess, job quest, right? Uh -huh. If this is the Way of the Marauder, that's the title of the quest. I'm assuming that's related to my job of being a marauder. Yes, yes. So do I need to finish that, right, to move on to the next marauder quest, or yeah, do I need to do much. it? Um, okay. You don't have to do most of them alone, though. Like if it involves just killing general things, I can go help you with that, or I can heal you. While while you kill them, it'll tell you whether or not it's a, um, God, I'm getting a kink in my neck just <laughs> looking at my character looking at you. Um, I can go with you unless it tells you that it is a uh, individual specific quest oh. and you can't be part of a party I or just, whatever to complete it. You were talking about the map earlier and I agree, the map system in this is, is pretty awful. Yeah, it's... 
It's pretty terrible. So I'm trying to find, okay, so way of the Marauder, I need to kill three lambs, which seems really evil okay. of me. Yeah, I know. It's sad because you start with the cutest things first. They get ugly quickly, but... Yeah, so I'm supposed, so I open that, and then I go to the map, and right. then I see a, a pulsating um, icon, but I, it's hard to tell, like, because I don't know where I am in so relation click on to the that. blue text. There, oh, okay. And then click, uh, where, oh. does it, where is it sending you? What's the name of the middle? Board? Wait, no. Yeah, middle line. So, yeah. yeah, so it's saying it's there's a little like round circle, uh, orange circle, so that's where the stuff is. So the mm -hmm. Zephyr Gate, and oh, okay, so it looks like it's out the Zephyr Gate and then down towards the south. All right, so it looks like I could teleport us there pretty inexpensively. Okay. So why don't we go to yeah, that? Yeah, I just want to oh, finish that up. Is I'm that just... middle? You said middle Lanosia? Um, That's what it's saying, but it doesn't look like it's quite... It's all right. There. All of Lanosia is connected. Okay. So we can get there quickly. Oh. And so accept the teleport when it pops up. Did that work? Uh... Uh... Oh, no, because you have to attune to the crystals. I forgot. Okay, that's okay. Um, well, I could just go meet at the Zephyr Gate, maybe? Yeah, maybe. If I remember and how to get And I don't there. remember how to get there. Okay, so go to the... Um, go over to that crystal you're standing next to and right-click on it. Yeah, okay. Just so you can attune to it. Anytime you see a little shard of crystal or a big crystal, right click on it so you can attune. Yeah. If you've already attuned, then it won't do anything, but. Okay, so I have the the, the Aethernet. Huh. So um, click on the Aethernet. I have Marauder's Guild, Fisherman's Guild, Arcanist Guild, Culinarian's Guild, and the Aft Castle. Go to the Aft Castle. Okay. You're gonna wanna run through Bulwark Hall. Okay, so now I'm in the upper decks. I can't believe I'm actually giving somebody directions on how to get around in this Yeah, game. so I'm I go... really unreliable, I think. Aft, aft castle. So I go through the aft castle, or I yes. go... Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're going to want to go through Bulwark Hall. And now, Google Maps so with... up on the right corner, click on that circle where you see the little circle of map. Yeah. Click on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And find Bulwark Hall and make sure you're running through it. Um, I just, I'm in the courtyard of the Aft Castle. That's okay. where it took me. Damn it. Oh, sorry. Darn it. And I'm running the wrong way. Because I stopped. I think I have to go to lower? Oh, here. Tempest Gate. Is you're that Tempest right? Tempest Gate? Yeah. Is that, is that? Um, well, I'm at Zephyr Gate, so let me oh. meet you. Go through Tempest Gate. That's fine. Okay. And let me, I'll meet you there. Wow, this is. So now I'm in Lower Nosekia. Lanosia. Yeah, you're yeah. at the more. Oh, okay. Right yeah, I'm outside now. That's fine. So this is uh, yeah. So this area is where I was killing the rats and stuff, and then I'm like, why aren't the sheep here either? I don't understand. Like, why are the sheep in a completely different area? Where am I now? Oh, yeah, so I do have to go to the middle. Oh, okay. This is, um... All right. This is very exciting for everybody right now, but, uh... Okay. I think I, I think I know where to go. I just have to run for a little while. <laughs> I run so far away. Meanwhile, I'm spending all of my gill teleporting around. Rachel, is this the first um, game that we've played on the new system, at least for a Let's Play video? Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually. You want to talk about that a little bit while we're running? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're playing on our uh, the gaming system that we have, which has uh, two 780s in it. Um, so it can actually, and we have a um, 4K Asus monitor. It's about, I think, 32 inch. Which is humongous it's, for the size desk you're playing. Yeah, on. it's humongous. Um, so I was actually, I had set this up first to play in 4K, and then it was like, everything was so small, the icons and everything, so I couldn't read anything. So I put it back to like 
I guess it's like ultra HD res. It's not um, 1080p, it's like the next step higher. Um, and then inside also there is a uh, 4770K processor. We've got um, a Cooler Master um, closed loop liquid cooling um, uh, aftermarket cooler on top of that. We've got um, 62 gigs of RAM. Pretty sure it's not 62, 16. 64. Is it? No, no, no. It's not. It's not that much, though. I think it might be sixteen, just sixteen gigs. No, well, there's four in there. I, mm -hmm. I don't think it's four four. I think it's four eights, which would be thirty two. Okay, then it's thirty two, which is a lot. Um, but if you're doing, because we wanted to try to do some four K gaming, um, so if you want to do four K gaming, obviously you need like high end graphics card. You need gonna need the processing power to do that. So um, we've got like a terabyte or two of hard drive space. So we got, we, it's, it's, it's quite a beefy high-end gaming system. In fact, we did a build on it a while back and then um, we, had a, we ran into a few kinks um, recently with setting it up. Um, and I think because there was a BIOS update for the Z90, Z97 boards. A Z87 board actually in that one. Yeah, and I, but I think the BIOS release yeah, updated the, the, the thing that was yeah. confusing about that, though, is it was a BIOS for um, just Z87 in general, which meant that all the way across the board, whether you had an EVGA board or a Gigabyte board, you needed to do this BIOS update. And we didn't know that. And we could not figure out why that computer would not boot. Would not boot. Oh, yeah. It we was, did it was everything. Really we changed motherboards. We tested the memory. We changed the graphics cards. We took the graphics cards out. We put them back in. We took them out. We put them back in. It was like two days worth of absolute silliness trying to get that thing to work. But now it does, and now we're playing Final Fantasy. Yay. Uh, I found the lambs that I'm supposed and to I kill. I see you on my map, so I'm heading your way as fast as my little legs will take me, which isn't fast. I'm told, though, that, like, running speed for me and running speed for you is the same speed. It doesn't really matter. Oh. I can't imagine how frustrating that is because your character, if it was real, would be, like, <laughs> seven and a half feet tall. Yeah. So I'm basically, lamb. I'm basically, like, moonwalking Wait around. Wait till I get there so I can show people what you're doing. Oh, These oops. poor lamb. Oh, it's okay. I need, like, I need some, oh. Never mind. But I have to go back into this cave here anyway. There's a little cave I came oh, out of. Oh, yeah. The quest in the cave, I don't think I can follow you. But I'm almost to you, wherever you are. Oh, I fell in a hole. Well, I'll just show you. Yeah, so, ah, so I've got door. these. I've got these cool. Where'd you go? <laughs> there you are. So I've got I lost these. lost you with the grass. These cool, like, this is um, an area in effect, area of effect yeah. thing. And this is like the main attack that I have and then the, you've got the countdown timers obviously you have to wait ah um oh they're up. attacking you no you little sheep it's uh, interesting okay. you know I find it interesting that it doesn't affect multiple um enemies like it only no single targets yeah but multiple enemies can definitely gang up on you yeah, that seems not fair. <laughs> It'll get better though. You'll learn different attacks. I know there's a couple. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and I've got this this thing. I think that's like a well, it's called foresight, but I think it helps me dodge or something when I'm in. Oh, okay. Battles. Um, so, oh, these are my new favorite thing, by the way. These what? Goob. The gooboo. Gooboo. <laughs> This, the mossless. He looks pretty covered in moss, though. I'm not. Oh my gosh! This sure is the funniest thing. It you know, it kind of looks like a little big planet, a bit. I a, know. The style which is why of that. I had such a hard time killing things initially in this game. What's that? What was that little aura thing you did? Oh, I'm bringing oh. up a pet. This oh. is my carbuncle. This is Emerald Carbuncle. It's like a mm. cat dog thing. Cat dog. And it beats stuff up. But the Emerald one is a little less of a jerk than the topaz one okay mm. oh ah the moss is good go be <laughs> the... it just came over and slapped me you're gonna die pal oh oh he's dead i feel a little sad um so so what have you collected so far have you collected <sighs> any items i collected 
dark batter. <laughs> that's good, that's good to keep. And animal sinew. Okay. And mole meat. Mole meat, uh, That might be for a, uh, oh, and I got ram horns. Yeah, I've got lots of those. I haven't needed them yet in my crafting. Mm. Um, if you come back, I can give you a little a little present. Ah. Something you Trading, can... yeah. How do you trade in this game? So I just right click on you and then it'll say examine, send, tell, trade, promote, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to trade, but you don't have to give me anything back. I'm just going to give you a um, couple ether potions so that while you're questing on your own, if you need to heal, ah. you can. The yeah, I or restore your health points. I know I got some potions. Can you use that in combat? Yeah, so if okay, you bring up good. an item in your item list and you want to add it to um, the mm. little bar, yeah, you can just right click on it and mm. um, actually no, you can just drag and drop. You just pull it down oh, okay. to whatever you want. And so I just put my high potion on Control Five. Mm. So now that's my quick key access to that. And that will restore 140 health points to my health. Oh, okay. So if you put that ether down on one of your quick bars, yeah, you can just access it while you're fighting. It'll give you a quick burst of oh, health okay. or whatever. That's I helpful. can make that in my alchemy job, which is really cool. Yeah, that's that's helpful. Potions are so. I already forgot where it came from. I'm useless with I maps know. too. So, um, <laughs> so where do you need to get back to to finish I was, that quest? Oh yeah, so the way of the Marauder. So now I have to go back to the Marauder's Guild. So I can now go to any Aether Shard and port. Is that the is that no. the deal? You can only travel on the Aethernet in like the main town. So you have to be in Main Old Dawn, oh, okay. Main Old Dawn, or Main Limza Lamisa. In the LL to use Ethernet, but you do need to attune to these crystals around here, okay. uh, so that you can eventually teleport to them. Okay. Which costs money, but it gets more efficient over time. I have fifteen hundred gil already, though. Ooh. That's pretty. That's pretty good, right? Well, how many do you have? Thirteen thousand. I have. Well, yeah, just under thirteen thousand right now, but that's not a lot. I'm actually really bad at accumulating gil because I use it to teleport myself everywhere because I'm bad at the map. Yeah. And I'm not patient with it. I I'm not really patient, yeah. And also I spent a lot of money trying to make my outfit look good. Oh. Uh. <laughs> because they're embarrassing. All right, so you haven't gotten to play a fate yet. Oh. So oh, what's this? Fates are uh, little battles where you can gain a lot of points. And early on you might like just, you know, standing in the back and kind of poking things. Oh, well that's not, wow, okay, I've got every single mole after me. I should probably run away. I should probably. <laughs> 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 it's like a whole troop of moles. Oh, I have to level sync. Oh, sh Sorry. I mean, oh, crap. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. No, you're gonna die. Don't worry if you die. I got a potion. Wait. No, I can raise you. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my, God. oh, okay. You have to target something first. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't. You can tab through baddies. Um, oh, okay. And yeah, that's quicker. that's but be that's better. But fates are a really good way to gain experience points because usually they're worth. Oh my gosh. A lot. Oh, damn. Ah. To Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do um did the fates get harder if there's more people here? No. Oh, okay. So it's just Which this... is kind of why it's annoying when you play a fate with a lot of people because oh, I died. your um points earned are directly proportionate to how much you participate and if there's a lot of people and you don't get to participate. Oh. You know, or there's just a lot of people like me who are way too high up and kill things really quickly, then you don't get as much. Fate complete. So I oh, got hey. 975. Yeah, I did too. Okay. Oh, good. I died though. You, oh, where are you? Um, I'm by uh, Basti Cons and Fate Moonblood people. So turn around or turn to your, yeah, yeah. 
So you see the guy with the hat? Yeah. I'm right underneath them. Okay, here, I'll, I can bring you back. <laughs> That's very useful. Are you the, and you're the only person who can do that, or if you're your job yeah, or whatever? Yeah, arcanist. I don't know why that's not on here, though. Actions. Resurrection. So what would be, like, a good, uh, an another job for me to do, like, as a marauder? Like, what would be a, a good accompanying um, job? So mining or goldsmithing would be your good tradecraft jobs. Thank and you. then, um... <laughs> nice. And you're kind of weak right now, so don't go trying to fight anything. Oh, okay. Got to put a protection on you. And I can heal you a bit. Sweet. Um, so probably goldsmithing or um, mining would be good because then you can make your own axes and mine for your oh, precious okay. metals and things like that for your armor. Armory, uh, leather working, I think, is a job. So that okay. kind of thing where you can make your own armor. Oh, okay. And stuff. If this is the main thing that you want to level up. Okay. If you want to try any of the uh, magic, you know, classes, you could do like Thermaturge would be the, the path to, I think, the Dark Mage or whatever, if you were interested in that. Mm. But it's kind of a whole different ball game. Also, Gladiator is another job you could try. Hmm. And, but it takes, like, if you do something that's more opposite of what you kind of originally set up for, it takes longer to do, or is um, it just... No, no, it just, everything starts you back at one. Oh. So why don't we go try actually a gathering job, just because I think you'd look adorable in fishing gear. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't really understand, like, how I'm supposed to so start doing that. So back yeah. to the Zephyr Gate. I actually kind of know this area pretty well, I think. Joining area, yes, all right. And you'll get invited to other parties and things like that. I've had a couple people already, um, you know, invite me to other things to help level up. You know, not everybody is the benefit of having like friends playing. The yeah. Game. So, um, it seems like as long as you approach people, um, you know, kind of humbly, everybody responds pretty well in this game. What's the... Like, I usually, oh. like, have people, they'll come up and they'll do, like, little dances and stuff for me, and then I know that they're just silly and... Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I can hang with them. And then you'll have to do, eventually you'll have to do dungeons where you do have to go in with a bunch of people you don't know. Yeah. And, and that's kind of where you came into the game with me. All right, so I'm so taking you want Rachel to be over efficient. to teach her about one of her gathering possibilities. Fishing. I find it very relaxing sometimes. So I'm going to go into my character and change into my fishing gear. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it yet. Oh, no. I, I have to be. I have to um, be level ten. Oh. In my current. Darn. Class. Oh well. Well, that'll happen soon. Maybe later. I can. I can watch you fish if you want to teach them how to fish. All right. Well, something. At least funny. I know I how to do on it. On this computer, I have not fished yet, so I have no saved gear. Oh. So okay. You're gonna, it's okay. You're just gonna see me in my underwear for a second. <laughs> Look away. It's okay. How do I, how do I, how do I pull up? Mm. Emotes. Amateurs. Shame. Is there shame? Rod, which one's better? Sulk. All right, and I'm naked. Okay, where is my, I want my vest of gathering. Vest of gathering. Hat. I got my little fisherman's hat. Hang on, I got pants. They're coming. I got Leather wrist guards of gathering over here. Oh wait, no, here. What is the ADWMA on? Is that your guild? The after what? your name? The what? There's like a ADWMA after your name. Oh yeah, that's a company I joined. Oh okay. I haven't done anything with them yet because I don't know how to find them again. <laughs> 
Okay. It was some guy, like, he wanted me to start doing this dance, and I was like, okay, and then he invited me over to his thing, and I was like, yeah, why not? All right, put on my fishing boots. And that's not gonna help me much. Do I have an offhand thing? All right. Good. Now you can kill things that try to eat me. Okay. Which happens sometimes. Because once you're in your cr or gathering or crafting jobs, you have no way to defend yourself. Like, what am I going to do? Hit somebody with a fishing pole? <laughs> it's pretty silly. All right, so... Can fish anywhere? Uh, yeah, you fish anywhere there's water. You get bait that has different um, stuff to it. So this is salt water, so I need a salt water bait. Okay. I've got some rat tail. My level is too low to use that bait. Then how did I buy it? All right, so I'm gonna use some goby ball for my bait. <laughs> Look at those people over there on the dock. They're having a party. What? Yeah, go, give, hold, hold that rod. Okay. Yeah. I cast off, I sit down on my little stool. Okay, I'll sit down. Are people having a party? Yeah, on the, like, on the dock over there, like across. Oh yeah, oh, those are some pirates. All right, I hear a bite, so I pull the hook. Oh, and I got a fish. I got a Merle Thurm Goby. <laughs> <laughs> I cast again. So there's just like everything else, there's quests you can do with this, leave quests. You'll learn about those in a little bit. But basically you have to go catch a bunch of certain kinds of fish and deliver them to people. Just like being an alchemist or any of the other jobs. Um, there are different qualities of fish. You want to keep the ones that are high quality crafting material fish. Like I just got a coral butterfly that isn't a high quality one, but it's still coral butterfly and I can use that for my alchemy job. Okay. All right. Well, I think we've done a pretty good job covering the basics here yeah. in this game. I'm gonna switch back to, uh, I so wish that it was, um, let me save this gear. I so wish that it was uh, daytime while we were wrapping it up because the lands in this game are actually really, really pretty. All right, well, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe to our various YouTube channels. And uh, check out Final Fantasy XIV. I know it got a lot of grief when it first came out. There are definitely some things that could still use improving on it, but overall it is a really fun game to play, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it enough to resubscribe for another month. So, anyway. Until next time, I'm Jennifer, and thank you for watching New Egg TV.